In more light-hearted news, uh, I found this in the Gold Coast Bulletin today, top docs surprise cruise ship verdict. The doctor sent to contain the coronavirus outbreaks on the Ruby Princess and Diamond Princess and Grand Princess, a lot of princes, a whole royal family, there, have revealed that he would have no issues on taking a cruise. And it's got pictures of him like on cruises with thumbs up and him in a full hazmat suit, double thumbs up on the cruise ship. And that struck me as, as extremely baffling. Why would the doctor yeah. send on the Ruby Princess a floating living nightmare of people stranded, unable to leave with gastro, coronavirus, deaths, like people died on the Ruby Princess? Why would you come out as the chief doctor and go, you know what, I'd fucking, I wouldn't mind going again. Again, again. It's like, it's yeah, like this in the pictures. It, on, has, <laughs> that's that's one for the readers, eh? That's one like that's targeted at Gold, Gold Coast Bulletin readers who who they advertise cruise ship cruises to. It's getting the, the 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 best person possible going. It's not. I go back. It reminds me of Event Horizon, that movie with Sam Neill, where they go to visit a ship that's gone to another dimension that he created and he gets on the ship and it's an actual nightmare. The crew start killing each other. People start violently dying. They tear their own eyes out, but he wants to stay because he gets yeah. seduced by the ship after he rips his own eyes out. And there's that famous line that's used in pop culture where he goes, they go, come on, doctor, we've got to go home. And he goes, I'm already home and disappears into the shadows of the ship. That's kind yeah. of what this doctor's kind of, I think, must be like. He feels like E.T. on land. Like he's in Mooloolabar going, fuck, like I'm not at home. Like I need yeah. to go back. I need to go back to the dark heart of the Ruby Princess. My home is a, is a floating Petri dish of nightmares. He's, and, he's, and, he's standing around at the buffet and the doctor's like, stay away from the buffet. It's riddled with disease. Come home. I'm already home. And he picks up a chicken wing and disappears into the takes down a ch chicken wing takes up picks up a chicken wing and then settles down for three hours of juggling yeah he rips his own eyes out and then goes to see the the, the comedian <laughs> the onboard ship entertainment everyone's ripped their own eyes out like an event horizon and they're all imagining as they hear the comedian yeah. So anyway, you know, it's crazy right now. Everyone's ripped their own eyes out. It's lucky because I'm not a prop comic. All you need is a set of ears, which I can see you're puncturing with chopsticks in the back there. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, it's, um, that's one for the readers because the Gold Coast, I feel like the people who read that are like really looking forward to another cruise. Like for them, life is just brief stints on land punctuated by cruises right they're, they're like, waiting for the next cruise and they've got they've got this doctor to go it's okay it's and like what you were saying like the, the australian wouldn't take that the, no the australian the, would take the stance of deranged doctor um makes outrageous claims possibly receiving money from the cruise ship industry do not go like and all the australian readers are like yeah good the scum the peasants going on cruise ships disgusting cultural vacuums and then the gold host bulletin's like back to buffet buffet is back on the ruby princess all go a steam ahead full steam ahead yeah yeah it's it's i think the australian would just still support those cruises that they have where it's like you can you can spend four days with richard dawkins like at the galapagos, islands. The galapagos. yeah like that it's like those cruises yeah we're worried about them. Different they get some groups. weird, obscure, old archaeologist or classical musical buff and he's your tour guide and then you get like, it's a luxury, it's like thousands and thousands of dollars a ticket and there's like a violinist and they stop yeah. at weird places that no one would ever want to see, like, you know, the Arctic. Yeah, they... <laughs> it's like, go to the Arctic with David Stratton. He'll be reviewing movies from the fifties. Exactly. As you go past any blue or <laughs> like are, you slow, are you slowly dying and just want to sit while culture and scenes and stuff just move around you? 
you know, it's that kind of thing. Or it's just like, I'm old, I'm tired. I've got so much money. I just want to sit and shit. Like I see mountains and icebergs and Stratton and Richard Dawkins are around. And it's just like in the comfort of your chair. You're at the age where you're like too tired to read, but you want to be a passive vessel for highbrow culture. You just want it to like sort of sift. Like you're like, oh, Tchaikovsky's fifth. Like you, you, you just, you just want to, but like you can't think straight anymore. Right. Like, but you've got dementia, but you're still enjoying sort of like someone analyze culture. I kind of feel like the ruby princess and that cruise ship with the buffet the pool the gym the 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 on ship and that's kind of like get up and go kind of patrons they're not sitting back while scenery and and ideas float around them they're fucking in the pool with a beer fucking oh i ate too much of the buffet i've got diarrhea now good i'm doing something thank god i've got a good i'm a belly full of prawns i'm on the poking machine my husband's passed out on the poke, he's on the floor. He's pissed. He's seventy-five. This this is great. Perfect. Um, yeah, they fall off their chairs because they're so pissed. Yeah. On on the on the cruise. Yeah, they they're getting into it. It would be weird if that if that the two cruises like crashed at sea, like they crashed into each other. So you've got like the part because one of them they're just like they're they're listening to like Grease Lightning and stuff. There's some guy going, go all grease, that. <laughs> but he's like got like a hip condition and stuff. Like he's like had a fall and he's just like, yeah. all grease. it's that kind of like really awful stuff, you know? And then the other ship is like, dah, 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 like classical music and Dawkins, like presumably the atmosphere around this area is quite prepared for the seabirds that, and they evolved from bats. <laughs> it seems we've had a, yes, disaster. There'd be a lot of Christians on the uh, Ruby Princess that would like to have a word to, like to have a word to old Dawkins if the ships crashed and they had to, they all had to, sh- they all had to stay together on one of the ships. Oh, and they could cross over. Yeah, like there was a cross pollination of the Ruby Princess and the other highbrow cruise ship, and Richard Dawkins well, had to stay with all the, with all the people from the Ruby Princess, going, yeah, no fucking god, eh? No fucking god, is there Dawkins? Well, presumably there's no evidence, is there? There's presumably no evidence whatsoever. You could say that there's a teacup floating around the sun. You've got no evidence to prove me wrong. So it must be true. Right. You get the monster as a construct. It's a mere construct. It might as well be a flying spaghetti monster. Yeah, I'd it's fucking true. eat spaghetti, you fucking dog, cunt Dawkins. Fucking, you have a look around here. Have a look at the fucking beautiful fucking mountains and shit and tell me there isn't a God, you fucking... You know, like that attitude. It was like having a fucking cocktail on a slippery dip just fucking hours ago if there's no grand creator. You explain that, you fucking cockhead, you dog. I just had a cocktail on a slippery dip. And there must be a God. There must be a God. I'm in fucking heaven, mate. I'm in heaven. I'm fucking sick as a dog. But yeah, no, like it's just... Like that, because it, it's just, a, it'd be a funny mix of clientele. You've got like, you know, a hedge fund trader who's in his 70s, who's losing his marbles, but paid 15 grand for a three-day Arctic tour. <laughs> and then a bogan who, 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 who won, won a ticket at the local meat raffle to come on board, who's filled up on prawns and is squirting shit out of his asshole because <laughs> he's... He's got gas, bro. And he's drinking rums, but he's still loving it, floating in a pool. And then trying to have a chat with fucking Richard Dawkins at the buffet going, yeah, it's fucking not bad, is it? It's fucking not, you know, they do that. It's fucking not bad. It's a cheap steak dinner, mate. You get fucking value. It's not a bad deal. It's all you can eat, mate. 